Would you be willing to put someone else's fecal matter into your body? <laughs> Welcome to the world of fecal transplant. Let's talk about it. I just recently found out about this thing called fecal transplant. I'd never heard about it. Apparently it's been around for a while, but now they're doing studies about how they can use it to help people who's got ulcerative colitis. So basically what they do is they take the fecal matter from a healthy person and insert it into someone who has a diseased colon. And supposedly the healthy bacteria is supposed to help the person who's suffering from the ulcerative colitis flare up. It is kind of complicated. Let me just let the experts explain it. Hold on just a sec. Many researchers and scientists believe that there's a particular bacterial species or a change in microbial diversity that's really responsible for the development of this condition. Because we know that fecal transplant works very well at restoring normal microbial diversity, the thought is that restoring the microbial diversity in a patient with ulcerative colitis can either cure or attenuate their disease. In fact, there have been a couple case reports. Wait, hold the phone. Did he just say cure? Now. That could be very exciting if they're able to cure ulcerative colitis by doing this. I don't know. Let's keep watching and see what else he's got to say. Here at New York Presbyterian Hospital, we tend to have a variety of different kinds of patients. And some of them do have ulcerative colitis and they do get Clostridium difficile. In those particular patients, we see a worse case of disease, mainly because they already have a condition that affects the colon. And then they have an infectious disease of the colon on top of that. Our patients that we have transplanted for Clostridium difficile that have ulcerative colitis have shown a remarkable improvement, not just in their Clostridium difficile, but attenuation of their ulcerative colitis as well. The main goals of this study is really to help figure out and determine are there particular bacterial species that really are required to protect someone from even having ulcerative colitis without even having Clostridium difficile. All right, well, I mean, that sounds interesting. Uh, it looks like they're doing some studies and it, it's kind of promising. This is a little bit of an older video, but from what I've read, they're still doing some studies and, and they're trying to get some larger studies going to see how effective this treatment can be. Now, when you search on the internet or YouTube, you can find a lot of videos on how the fecal transplant works. Some of them are really disgusting, but I did find an interesting article that I would like to show part of it. It says, our long-term aim is to develop rationally designed microbial therapies that can actually replace the fecal transplantation. Uh, these will have bacteria in a pill that can carry out the therapeutic, therapeutic effect without the need to take whole feces. So if they can do the same process in a pill, that sounds promising. Um, I've never really heard of this process, never heard anything about it. Um, the fact is, whenever you're using, uh, like me, on the biologic medication, of course that's got side effects of suppressing the immune system. If they were able to successfully do a fecal transplant, apparently this doesn't suppress the immune system it can actually help strengthen the immune system so it gets rid of that particular side effect i'm kind of excited to see it might be something to keep an eye on in the future anyway thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it and if you have any questions let me know and um, until next time i'll see you soon